guys, welcome back to another Going Medieval episode. So today I want to get a little bit more of that wall built. Maybe not like particularly an entire section like this, but just the outer wall. Um, I want to kind of build it along this way. And we have to plan it out a reasonable amount because we're going to have to go quite a far distance and given that I'm trying to keep with the scale of the um, spaces between like in the corners there has to be like a two and then a four in order to make it work but it's, it's not too bad I mean it, it still is pretty consistent if we do that on all the corners and I figure what we'll do is we'll start telling them to build the pillars uh, between the walls here and then that way we can go ahead and know where we need to actually fill all that in. And there's also, <laughs> by the looks of it, some wolves that we need to deal with as well. So we'll probably do that today. Um, th the main reason... Oh, actually, you know what? We have to tear down all this as well. We don't need that anymore because I removed the stairs, right? So we can probably do that. We might have a little bit more extra room to build somewhere. Uh, at the moment, we don't have much building room and I want to reserve some <laughs> some very needed space over here for um, our uh, people and I think we have a little bit of room back here but I think the walls going oh no the wall goes right through here so we should have enough room to build over here then that's not an issue I don't think but uh, eventually what I want to do is just kind of start filling in this with water and hopefully you know you know the fish and stuff will generate naturally uh, that's what i'm hoping at least uh, i'm not sure if that's the case or not i don't know entirely how the mechanics work because it's like completely new to me so like it just got released not too long ago but once we mine out this part which should be in the next couple days we can start filling this in and a whole bunch of other stuff but the important part is getting that wall built at least the outer shell uh we don't need the defensible part just yet but we will in the future so let's see if we can't measure this out a little bit so one two three we'll just put the pillars down for now and that way we'll know um where it needs to be built okay and then we'll have this part that goes up like this so this is like three right yeah we can actually tell them to build too tall like that. We'll probably put a basement in here too. Um, it'll be separating the...
right, so currently uh, we got the outline already set up, so we know where to go. Took me a little while to figure out um, what kind of corner I would need for an inner, inner corner like this, but I determined that I can probably get away with a... Um, uh, just a 3x3 three three like this, so hopefully that's correct. If not, then we're gonna have a huge amount of resources that re that needs to get done, but we'll be building it more or less in line like this, so once we get to that part, we'll kind of know if um, we need to destroy all that stuff and then continue. I think that would probably be the better way because this is a lot longer on this side, so... Um, We'll probably build from this side to this corner, and in all hopes that hopefully I got it correct, and we'll be able to do what we need with it. And it's almost, um, oh, what, what is it, what is it, um, almost spring, so we'll be able to plant some stuff pretty soon, and, uh, get stuff rolling again, so, and there will probably be some more raids, no doubt. Uh, usually there are after winter, um, makes sense logically too, right, because, you know, Trying to do a raid during a winter is, like, not exactly good because you actually eat more, you need more heat, resources. So, logically wise, it doesn't make any sense, but I'm not sure if that's, like, how it happened back in the day, like, medieval period, probably. Because, I mean, it doesn't make sense to go out and start a raid during <laughs> winter. Um... Generally, there's not enough crops being grown for you to even do it, but like it, logistically wise, you could actually flip the coin and say that, okay, well, they're going to be limited on food supply too, but they might already have a stockpile of food, so that might not really be a thing, but if they're dependent on like hunting or something like that, then I could see where that could be a strategic thing, but you really need to know your enemy, I would think, so. Um... Yeah, so let's see. I'm just trying to find dead trees at the moment. <laughs> that one looks dead, so does this one. It's a little easier to see them during the day. I'm not sure if yeah, these are dead. Uh, dead. We'll get some sticks from that. That's 100. I don't know if they'll be able to get it in time. These are uh, willow trees by the looks of it. Alright, uh, that one. Yep, yeah, dead. Might as well just clean this up. That way the trees have some extra room to grow for the future and stuff too, right? Uh, they they do generate, well not really generate, but like spread over time. Some of them actually generate as well. So like if there's no grass here, like this one's probably generated. <laughs>
Alright, so spring's finally here, trees are finally getting their leaves back, it's perfect uh, time to start planting some crops, so we're really running low on food at the moment. Uh, I wasn't actually paying too much attention to what supplies we did have, we have some beetroots, but um, that's about it for the most part. We have a little bit of cabbage, a lot of barley that we probably should uh, figure out what to do with. Uh, we don't need that much barley. But, um, it's more of a cash crop, I would consider it. So, we should really consider of what we're going to be doing with it, uh, some of this. So we can, like, reduce the amount of spots taken up by the barley. Um, even if it's requiring, like, some other storage. I'm not sure if storing it under... Well, we actually have that basement, don't we? We have that basement. So, we could, in theory... Uh, store barley under here. This huge amount of space. So that won't be an issue if we do that. Um, what I'm going to do actually is break this up into a couple different rooms, I think. Um, mainly because this is a pretty long core away. And I think it would be better if there was like broken up into like sections of three, maybe. Like that would be three, three. So we could do like something like that. And then we kind of know where we're going to put stuff to, right? So I'm going to put the... Okay, the stairs come down on that side. So we're going to put the doors on that side, I think. And we'll go ahead and just count that out. Make sure it's correct. And let's see here. One, two, three. And then we can fill this in with that model. And then we can put the doors in there. So, like that. I'm not sure if the doors are facing the right direction. Yep, perfect. Okay. That's good. Um, and then we can put our barley and stuff in here. They're, they already started on the walls and stuff. Um, we'll probably be <clears throat> getting ready for building probably next episode. For sure. Uh, I'm not sure how long it will take them to finish the entire outline. <clears throat> but um They're getting they're getting a lot done, so it's gonna take a little bit of time. There's no one that's actually mining because everyone's building and chopping down trees at the moment, but um then we'll get to it. We'll just need to kind of figure out what what we need to prioritize and stuff. So but overall, I mean it's it's coming along really well like when we get this string
Guys, we got a lot of stuff done today. Uh, we got our uh, most of our outline already built, so we just have this uh, section pretty much to do, and a little bit on the uh, part here. They'll probably finish that today. Um, well, you know, like this day, we just turned over to a new day, so I started telling them to chop down or break down the old uh, front gate, so we'll have a little bit more room there for some other buildings that we might need, so that'll be good too. Maybe a house or two, we'll see what we can put there in the future, but I'm not sure, but it will open up a lot more room for us to actually do. As long as it's not too tall, it won't interfere with the, um, the actual forestry area, but um, yeah, well, like a small house or something like that should fit in there just fine, I think. Um, outside of that, we got uh, a whole bunch of other stuff done. We got um, some crops planted, we got some mining built, and we chopped down a bunch of trees to help get some area ready for the actual construction. And while we've been doing that, we've been getting wood so we can actually build it too. So tons of stuff today that was, you know, minor, but it will be good for the long term. And uh, eventually we'll start telling them to plant the forestry area. I want to get the farm set up because we're running a little bit low on food and stuff. But um, that's like the priority, at least at the moment. Outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Thank you.